Coming up next, Salesian News Asia Pacific. Hello folks, glad to have you join us for the 96th episode of Salesian News Asia Pacific. I'm your host RJ Brian of Radio Salesian 90.8 FM, the voice of the hills, the first community radio of Don Bosco Asia since 2016. This show is brought to you by Church Art Kolkata. Salesian cooperators condemn Russian aggression of Ukraine, takes in refugee families. Emergency response coordinator Father M.C. George Menam Parampil reports from Rome. The World Council of the Association of Salesian Cooperators, based in Rome, condemned the Russian invasion of Ukraine and has written to Russian ambassador in Rome. Meanwhile, the Rector Major, in his letter dated 12th March 2022, gives updates of relief efforts for Ukraine from Salesian family members worldwide. He had a special mention of Salesian communities in Poland and Germany for taking in Ukrainian refugee families. Rector Major has also praised the initiatives of various kinds, full of creativity, energy and capacity to dialogue with society. One such effort is that of an English province, which held a joint liturgy for peace with Russian and Ukrainian people from their London school. Also, there is an English confrere who is lobbying British civil authorities to receive Ukrainian refugees. Church Art Kolkata, a 40-year-old church decor establishment, is also specialized in church door paneling. Count on us to make your existing church doors into beautifully ornate entryway embellished with Christian liturgical and sacramental motifs. You will be amazed at the bronze finish looks of your existing wooden door which becomes water and weatherproof with no maintenance cost for longer periods. For affordable prices and hassle-free professional service, contact Don Bosco Past Pupil by email churchart.ganguly at the rate gmail.com and whatsapp slash telegram country code 91983102945. India Don Bosco Green Alliance starts Let's Recycle Up campaign for Global Recycling Day 2022 on 18th March to 15th April. Leanne de Souza of Don Bosco Green Alliance reports. Every year, our landfills get dumped with billions of tons of waste. The piling up of this waste is at the expense of the Earth's natural resources. The five important natural resources that are linked to our sustenance are water, air, soil, fossil fuels and minerals. With the increase in consumption, these resources are rapidly depleting. If we continue with this way of life, we will have destroyed most of the Earth's supporting habitat. Our future, therefore, lies in recycling. Recycling can save our planet. Each year, this sixth resource saves over 700 million tons of CO2 emissions and this is projected to increase to 1 billion tons by 2030. Global Recycling Day is celebrated on 18th March. As Salesian institutions, let us do our part to celebrate this important day and spread awareness on the sixth important resource which is recycling. Let us plan a host of activities and celebrations between 18th March to 15th April in recognition of Global Recycling Day. These events will help in raising awareness and using our resources judiciously, the importance of recycling and the ways in which we can turn waste into a valuable resource. You are listening to Salesian News on Radio Salesian from Salesian College, Sonada Darjeeling. India Don Bosco School Matunga marking 80th year gets best school award. Father Joachim Fernandez reports from Mumbai. All India Education Today Survey 2021-2022 placed Don Bosco High School Matunga number one in Mumbai, number one in Maharashtra, 
and number one in India in the boys day school category. The school was also voted number one in the parents choice awards. Besides this, the school won the prestigious jury award 2021-2022 for mental and emotional well-being support city-wise Mumbai. The award ceremony was held at 9th national conference on K-12 leadership and India schools merit award 2022 at mm -hmm. Chancery mm -hmm. Pavilion Beng Bengaluru on 12th March 2022. The annual Education Today India School Merit Awards, covered widely by print and television media, categorize schools under 15 parameters, academic reputation, teachers' advancement and well-being, co-curricular education, sports education, digital learning advancement, student advancement and mentoring, leadership and quality management, parental engagement, future-proof learning infrastructure, value for money, community service, holistic education, psychological well-being of students, individual attention to students, and integrated learning. Macau students pray for Ukraine people. Father Martin Yip reports from Macau. Some 60 students of Salation School in Macau joined a 40-minute prayer service for peace in Ukraine. First part of the prayer section consists of video clips to understand the seriousness of the situation in Ukraine and presentations by student leaders on challenges faced by people and solutions in Ukraine. It was followed by a presentation on the teaching of the church on the issue of using violent means and just war. Second part consisted of listening to the word of God and prayers for the victims of the war and singing peace hymns. At the end of the prayer gathering, a group photo was taken with the background of Ukraine and Macau flags. Teachers and students wrote messages for the youth of Ukraine. Vietnam students share snack money during Lent to help the poor. Father Augustine Du Phuc reports from Ho Chi Minh City. The students of the most Gomi Ithuat community took practical actions in self-sacrifice during the Holy Lenten season. They contributed their snack money to help the poor. On the 9th of March 2022, it was an effort by the Salesian fathers, sisters, and brothers to educate students to become good Christians and upright citizens. India book on adolescent criminal psychology launched. Siddhi Singh of Mass Communication fourth semester reports. Salesian College Research and Publication Center Sonata launched the book Back to the Future, Hypnotherapy for Psychotrauma Management authored by the Rector of Salishan Studini Tsunada, Dr. Father James Malikinal. Extracts of a doctoral thesis under the same title, the book contains therapeutic practices in dealing with adolescent criminals in the Philippines. The author used hypnotherapy as a way of reaching the altered state of consciousness during which healing from trauma took place. Father Malikinal was awarded PhD degree from University of Santo Tomas, Manila in the Philippines in 2012. Those are the latest from Salesian News Asia Pacific. This show was brought to you by Church Art Kolkata. Enjoy the rest of your day.